Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, let's get started on 24 hour temperature cast. I think we're going to find a lot of numbers back in the 60s this morning, and hopefully that's a trend that continues. It'll make it feel maybe a little bit nicer out there for maybe an early morning walk or something. I do expect those afternoon temperatures to start perking up a little bit. Got to the mid 80s yesterday. We're likely going to get back there today. Maybe see a few creep a little higher than that. And then depending on the cloud cover overnight, we'll see how far those temperatures can fall back again tomorrow. I do think at least some of us will get back into the 60s again tomorrow. Looking at the satellite radar composite screen, there's not a lot going on around here just yet. We still have some clouds. We still have the threat of a few sprinkles, but it's not going to be wall to wall gray, gloomy and overcast today. I think what we'll have is a few more breaks still with some clouds and we'll be looking for the afternoon to see a few showers pop in. So we'll look for a little bit more changeable sky conditions. It's 66 this morning in Thomasville. It's 68 in Valdosta and back up to 70 at the airport in Tallahassee. But we see those dew point numbers mid 60s. So that tells us there's a little room to play with for the these temperatures and with those breezes staying calm and with the air trying to dry out a little bit, maybe we can see more and more numbers slide back into those middle 60s, making the feel just a little bit different outside. Mariana's at 69, Bainbridge and Camilla at 67, Quincy and Moultrie at 66. But how about Blakely, Tifton and Homerville all checking in at 64 this morning? Now, if there's going to be a breeze, it'll be a little bit variable and pretty light this morning. I do think at some point that breeze ends up coming more from the west today. We'll look for some fog out there. there is still some low level moisture trap. We're talking about this air trying to dry out, but we still do have enough moisture around where that's going to probably contribute to the shot for a few showers. That old boundary is still there. You can pick up this general counterclockwise circulation, some lower pressure in the atmosphere still. So it's not like we're going to clear things up like flipping a switch and all of a sudden have bright blue skies and more fall like weather. However, what we should see over the next couple of days is more breaks in that overcast, fewer chances for the showers, maybe mainly more just in the afternoon. And I do think all that does contribute to a little less icky sticky humidity, especially a little bit later on this week. For today, I still think there's going to be enough humidity and enough moisture available where that boundary lingering can probably trigger a few scattered showers later this afternoon. We still have a shot tomorrow for a few showers, but I think that chance gets smaller and smaller each day. And I do think we start to get a little bit more sunshine each of the next couple of days. So yeah, the future cast is going to try to find us at least something at this afternoon, but I don't expect to find big time widespread. Everybody gets wet kind of rains, not anytime soon. And the more we get towards the second half of the week, the better chance we have for more clearing. Let's talk tropics. Yesterday we were watching potential tropical cyclone number eight. This is what it looks like now. That core on land never really got organized enough to be called Helene, and this will continue to fizzle out, but it's still bringing a whole bunch of rain through parts of the Carolinas and now back towards the Tennessee Valley. That's where all this moisture will stay. Tropical Depression Gordon is still out there in the middle of the Atlantic. Winds around 35 miles per hour. It's just got to get a little stronger to become Tropical Storm Gordon again, and it's a possibility over the next couple of days it gets there, but this one also looks like it's going to stay out over the open waters of the Atlantic, never really impacting any land areas. Here's what it looks like on the satellite imagery. Still looking pretty organized and still pretty healthy, but definitely not looking like it's going to be a real big threat to anything. And for the time being, I don't see a lot of other energy out there. Uh, we're still in the middle of September, so we still expect quite a bit of activity. We'll watch. We'll see how things start to develop. But for the time being, it is nice to see things quieting down in the tropics. On the Gulf today, east winds at first turning more south, 5 to 12 seas, 2 feet or less. So pretty good setup for the boaters. There still will be some clouds around the region today, and that goes for offshore too. I'll put the rain chances around 40% early, more like 50% later. Still a little unsettled but maybe not as wall to wall gray and gloomy and the more blue we get in the sky, the warmer those temperatures will get. I'm betting we're going to see a lot of 85s, 86s, maybe some 87s today. We'll call it partly cloudy tonight and similar where the overnight numbers get back near 70 tonight. By the way, you'll be able to see that full moon and here's that seven day forecast where things do get warmer in the afternoons, but they should continue to be a little bit more mild and comfortable in the overnight and notice that's a lot less activity on the rain chances than we've had in a long time. A little drying will probably go a long way to make things look and feel a little nicer outside. 